Hi everyone, today we're going to try electrolysis to remove the rust from this piece here. Now you can see it's very rusty, um, it's so much so that I can barely even open it. I can open it a little bit but it's not easy. So I'm hoping that not only will it remove the rust but it will make this back into a reusable tool. Now we don't need a lot to do this, we need a bucket of water, we need a 12 volt battery charger, just an old one, we don't want to use a smart charger. We need something which can hold our piece in the water, so I'm just going to use this piece of wood and then some wire, so I can hold that on the top there, tie the wire around and that will hold our piece into the water. And then we need a sacrificial anode, it's called sacrificial because this will become corroded over time where it's in the water and it's pulling the rust away. So this is a steel pipe, um, it's recommended that you use something like rebar, avoid things like stainless steel, aluminium, copper, anything like that because they can put off poisonous gases. So just stick to something steel like rebar for example. And then we're going to use baking soda as an electrolyte to make the water more conductive. You can use washing soda, that would work better, but I only have baking soda. So the first thing I'm going to do is clamp my anode onto the bucket here. Now I'm using a big clamp like this, but you can pretty much do it any way you want. So that's nice and secure. And I'm going to connect my positive side from my battery charger. Bear in mind that my battery charger does not have power at the moment. And then I'm just going to tie this wire around my tool. And then I'll put that into the water and I'll use this wood just to hold my tool in place. And then I'll connect the negative side of my battery charger to this wire. Now before I turn the battery charger on, I'll just show you inside the bucket. You can see the negative of the battery charger going to this wire which is holding our tool down in the water. Positive side going to this steel bar which is just clamped to the side of the bucket. And that's pretty much it, so let's plug in our battery charger and turn it on. So you can now see how much power it's drawing. Not a huge amount. Um, this will vary depending on your water, your electrolyte and everything like that. But let's have a look inside the bucket. So what you can immediately see is bubbles coming off our rusty part and they should slowly move over to our sacrificial anode over here. And over time, we should hopefully see the rust coming off our part. So I'm gonna leave this running for a while and then come back and show you an update. Now it's only been about five minutes, but you can already see some scum collecting around the anode, the steel pipe. And you might notice I actually moved my tool a little bit closer um, and that's increased the amount of current which I can show you here. It's still not a huge amount because this charger is actually capable of pushing out up to 20 amp, um, but it has increased it and that has sped up the effect. So yeah, I'll leave this going for, I don't know, maybe an hour, and then I'll pull out the piece and we'll have a little look at the difference. So it's been going for about 30 minutes and I've now turned it off. So let's remove the part and see how it looks. Now I'll just remove this wire and we can take a closer look at the part. So here is the piece after 30 minutes. I can now open it just like when it was new. And I'll probably put some oil in there just to help. Um, I think maybe there's still some rust left on there. It's difficult to tell what's rust and what's simply pitting of the metal, but I can use it again, which is pretty good. Now that was only 30 minutes. A lot of people do this for hours and hours, and I will actually put this back in and give it much longer, but I'm gonna do that outside because although I did this in a well-ventilated room, I think it's still safer to do this outside because of any gases that might be produced. So I will do this longer, but you can see that it did actually remove most of the rust and it can actually be opened and used again. And here's the anode, you can see where the rust is collected on top of that. Now I'll probably wash that off because there's no reason just to leave that sitting on there. Probably most of that will wash off. So there you go, that's how you remove rust using electrolysis. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.